Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today we're actually going to be talking about VPNs. Now, I know that you guys have probably seen my videos or my audio on uh, various VPNs in the past and why a lot of them are good for you. If you have a corporate VPN, it's protecting your data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you can also go to the App Store and buy personal VPNs. A lot of these are free. Now, you also may have mentioned or, or heard me mention rather Facebook's VPN, Onavo, which actually got pulled from the App Store for Apple, I want to say, what, four months ago, five months ago, something along those lines, for violating privacy. And this is something that we've talked about before. While we have VPNs that protect our privacy, who actually runs and controls the VPN uh, can be a serious problem because they can be tracking everything, in this case, Facebook. But what if we're looking at this from a broader sense and we're looking at foreign governments releasing VPNs in Google Play and Apple's App Store, and now we have a serious problem because you might be downloading a very low cost or free VPN, running the VPN, and then the data that you are, are running through that wherever you're going is now being collected by a foreign government that has information and telemetry on Americans. We also know that apps can be abused, hook into the system, and, and steal a lot more. I did a video a couple of days ago about literally some major apps from major corporations, including Air Canada, Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, doing exactly that. And so there's no reason why a VPN app couldn't be doing the same thing and then sending it back through the VPN to this foreign company, or rather country. So you basically could be inviting foreign surveillance into your device. Now, the reason why <clears throat> I'm bringing this up is because this just came to light, or rather there is now a push, uh, a bipartisan push within the Senate to have the Department of Homeland Security look at this. Now, the two senators that are pushing this are one, Republican Marco Rubio, and two, uh, Democrat uh, Ron Wyden, and they basically put out a letter citing that um, we have a lot of different warnings for government surveillance and corporations that are in bed with others, such as Huawei and ZTE uh, with the Chinese government. That's why we don't sell those phones on military installations anymore. And in their letter, they go on to state, if U.S. intelligence experts believe Beijing and Moscow are leveraging Chinese and Russian-made technology to surveil Americans, surely DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, should also be concerned about Americans sending their web browsing data directly to China and Russia. So in other words, what they're saying is, we already know this goes on. Why wouldn't they be able to leverage VPN technology to surveil us as well? And I think that's a very good point because a lot of us use VPNs. I myself personally do as well, although I have a corporate VPN. And so what do we do with that? And that is your food for the thought. Do you run a, a VPN? If so, is it free? If so, do you know who made it and where your data is going as it's traversing the internet? I'd love to know your thoughts on that. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.